In this video, we are going over how to cross a soccer ball like Kevin De Bruyne, and he's one of the best crossers and deliverers of the ball in the game today. You're going to be hearing from Kevin De Bruyne himself on what he looks to do when he is crossing the ball. I'm going to be showing you and analyzing some highlights of him crossing it and delivering the ball into the box, and I'm also going to show you how you can practice this so you can do it more like him. Feels like I'm going insane and so instead of trying to explain exactly what Kevin De Bruyne tries to do when he goes across the ball, I figured it would be more beneficial to hear what he has to ask. When you get the ball, do you think straight away, cross quick? Because it seems to be used up a lot of goals by crossing it really quick. I prefer to to cross it quick, but then uh, I'm, I'm, before I get the ball, I try to look if somebody is going already. I like to cross it between the defender and, and the goalkeeper, so there's like more like a confusion for, for these guys. So like Kevin De Bruyne says there, a lot of the time he'll try and cross early to catch the defense out, and you can see him doing this all the time for Man City in Belgium, where he'll play a low cross into the box out of the reach of the defenders, but onto the oncoming forward who's running onto it. Another thing he said he likes to do is play it beyond the last defender, but in between the last defender and the goalie and whip it in. Something that is pretty much common among all types of crosses Kevin De Bruyne does is that he always whips it in with pace um, and he doesn't usually loft the ball into the box. If you look at most of the crosses he delivers, whether he plays it early or whether he takes a touch, sets himself and then crosses, he usually always likes to whip it in with the side of his foot with pace. And these, when done well, are some of the hardest crosses to defend. So now we're going to go over that technique, and again, I'm going to let Kevin De Bruyne himself explain it because it's going to be better coming right from his mouth than me trying to analyze it and explain it. He goes over what he tries to do when hitting the ball and what the technique actually looks like. What's the technique? You, you, you try to shoot it not really on, on, the, on the front, but yeah. just uh, in between. So, oh, so, in, in a, in a so you can put it like around the defender if yeah. it's possible. The technique that Kevin De Bruyne is explaining here is actually very similar to the technique he will use to shoot when he's trying to curl it to the back post or near post, and in fact a lot of players will shoot using this technique. If you look at Robin for example, he uses this technique in order to shoot towards the back post when he cuts inside, so it's going to be that technique when you go to cross the ball, and that's why it's such an effective way to cross the ball, because you're putting so much whip and power on it that all you really need to do as a striker or a person trying to score is get some kind of contact on it towards goal. It's also incredibly dangerous because if a defender doesn't clear it right, it can go anywhere, including becoming an own goal. That's why this method is incredibly effective, because it's being whipped in with such power, such accuracy, and such pace that any mistake made by the defense, including missing it or miss hitting it, could end up in a goal. Now having said that it's one of the most effective crossing techniques, there's a reason for it. It's also one of the most difficult to master because if you hit it too hard or you don't do the technique right, you're going to hit it way too far. And if you hit the ball too far on top, you're going to hit it too low unless that's what you're trying to do, which is going to be cleared by the defense. You know, shooting and crossing in this way is not easy, meaning you need to practice all the time. So here is some clips of Kevin De Bruyne practicing this. Very, very simple. Um, he's just just having someone lay it in front of him and practicing whipping it into the box. And you can see that he's putting it kind of near the six yard box where it would be in between the last defender and the goalkeeper. Ultimately, guys, if you want to learn how to cross a soccer ball like Kevin De Bruyne, it's not coming down just to knowing the technique. You have to practice this all of the time. There's a reason a lot of players don't cross in this way. It's not because they don't want to. It's because they can't as consistently as Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne can do this so consistently. He can shoot so consistently. He can essentially strike the ball so sweetly in pretty much any technique he does because he practices this all of the time. And if you want to get to the level he's at, or even close to the level he's at when it comes to delivering the ball or shooting or anything like that, you have to put in the work. All right, guys, so that concludes this video. Please like and share it, and let me know what player you want me to cover next and what area of their game you want me to cover as well. I'm going to put two other videos from this series on the screen now so you can continue watching this series where we cover and highlight certain areas of a player's game that they are very, very good at, so make sure you check out those videos as well. Thank you once again for tuning in to this video, and I will speak to you in the next one.